Hello, in this video, I'm gonna take you through Axiom 3.18, our latest release. On screen, you can see our release notes and these outline everything that's new in this release. And if you're looking, yes, you can see ChatGBT because yes, we've gone and done it. We've combined the power of Axiom with the power of ChatGBT and the outcome is pretty amazing. If I wasn't British and reserved, I would be leaping out of my seat now going like, wow but I'm British and reserved. So I'm going to calmly carry on and take you through what is new. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Very quickly before the awesomeness, what else is new? So we've got a scheduling page found on the dashboard of Axiom. You can see all, all the Axioms that you've got scheduled. We've also added filtering to the reporting pages so you can isolate axioms to a specific date and a specific time to find that report that you want. We've also added a continue if empty option to the Google Sheet. This means if you're reading from a Google Sheet and the sheet is empty, the axiom will stop, but you can override that with an option to continue. We've also added a sub-step to the interact that will take you back a page if you need that. And of course, a whole host of other minor fixes, improvements that you can see and read in the release notes or watching the video. Now back to the big news, back to the, the awesomeness, the power of chat, GBT with Axiom. Let me show you what I've done. Without further ado, I'm gonna take you through our brand new integration with chat, GBT. It's a data extractor, I'm gonna open up Axiom. Here's our no-code builder where you combine steps to automate the browser. So our very first step is a read data from Google Sheets step. Why are we doing that? Because we've got a series of links stored in that sheet that we want to loop through and extract data from. We then pass those links into our interact step where the go-to page loops through them, extracting data from the page. We're then gonna use our extract data with GBT step. It's pretty easy to set up. Now, if you need to find the step, all you need to do is click the plus, input GBT, and there you can see the step. I've already got it added, so we don't need to do that. So back to the configuration, all you need is your API key. That's available off their website. It's pretty easy to get. I'll show you that in a second. Then all you need to do is plug in the data that you want to use ChatGPT to extract from. Here we go. I've just plugged in the data from the interact step above. It's that easy. Then enter your extract values. Now we are adding templates of default, but this is early release, so we haven't got many templates. But you can add your own values, and you may need to experiment with these adding different descriptions. But essentially, I work these out very simply by looking at this website. You can see we've got those labels. I then use the labels to extract the data. So that's the axiom almost set up. Finally, we write that data back into a Google Sheet, which we can see here. It's currently empty, but I'm gonna open up the axiom, click Run, and we're going to see that data written into the Google Sheet very shortly. But here's the magical part, the part I never get tired of watching, Axiom automating the browser, but this time in combination with ChatGBT, making something pretty damn powerful. So Axiom's already onto the second page. Any moment it'll write the data. So back to that API key, and we'll check on the data in a second. You can fetch your own API key from the platform.openai.com site go up to your personal account and then click on to view API keys. Okay, let's check the sheet. Just in time, we can see the data is now written to the sheet. That's a pretty amazing automation. Anyone can build that bot in seconds using Axiom and ChatGBT. That's a pretty cool new feature. Keep an eye out for other new ChatGBT features coming soon. In fact, if I just take you here a second, you can go onto our latest blog post and you can read about the integrations and what we think of ChatGBT and where we think Axiom will go with ChatGBT. For example, we're looking at using ChatGBT to actually build the Axioms. That is super exciting. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to say a big thank you to the team for their efforts on this latest release. And there's lots more to come. Watch this space. It's getting super exciting at Axiom.